Right, welcome to part two. Um, just find out a mass extraction. I don't know why my two engineers down at the bottom are going all the way down there. Um, I couldn't find a way to disable or rather re enable the, ma the mass watch on screen in the uh, GeForce experience. So I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. So much fun. Part two. Hopefully, we can start getting um, a lot of. Was that older? Boot. Next, I want to get these. Start by upgrading out to a big, big ass, <laughs> big ass shield generator. I wonder. Might be a good idea to see what's going on around the world. Other things worth noting are with this particular, I think it's Brewland mod that has this. Um, the mass storages can be upgraded to Tech 2. You can either plonk the traditional Tech 2, which weirdly is slightly bigger, but you can just upgrade these guys instead, which is far better. Get even more mass pumping. Uh, when that music plays, that usually means something bad is heading someone's way. Get some support armoured command units in. Uh, I need to start arranging the blowing up of stuff. Okay, so these are all on Tech 3 now. So what I'm going to do is build of these big factories here. They basically make ex building experimentals for the UEF far easier. I'm just going to start upgrading these guys because I'm literally just like I haven't upgraded the power plants yet. And I've only just put them there, but yeah. Wow, that is an awful lot of aircraft units heading over to their base. Okay. Ah, spy planes already. Let's see what that base has. Let's see what this base is, because my radar won't reach these points yet. Although my front line omni, there you go, you can see the, the radius of it. Um, my front line omni does tell me there's literally nothing on that line in there. Ah, I can't select. The, there we go. Oh, lag. <laughs> these guys do. These were the rush enemies, they've got a whole bunch of units outside their base but are otherwise not doing anything. They may have possibly hit the 500 unit command point limit. And they also don't appear to have an anti-nuke. Might be the first enemies to succumb. They're also not, they're doing the worst on the point list as well. That tells me what I need to know. 
Um, aha, very bad. Experimental bombers being built. Right, okay, that means I need to hurry up and get my um, seed shield up. Yeah, that was fine. This will probably uh, destroy my power for a moment. So I like power generators at this moment in time. Fuse shield generators, okay. And the reds, what have they, what have they got going on? Oh, hell a ton of heavy shield generators. Quantum gateway, so they're going to get support armor command units in soon. Other than that, I don't think they have a an anti nuke yet either. At least I can't see it. It's not obvious. Hmm. <laughs> Experimental tech for hydrocarbons. Right. I'm going to build some tactical missile launchers. Maybe four. Oops. Aha. It's finished. Let's build Although actually they're building the Let's build one. And then build one of those. Maybe two of those. And then build another fat boy after that. Oh, the front line seems to be doing well. I don't think there's anything else I need to upgrade my front line at this time. Let's have a look through some of this other stuff. Can't really find anything of any use. Other than maybe I can get these guys to build the Mabel for me. But not just yet, because my power's a little bit crazy at the moment, so I can get my two hydrocarbons fully powered up. Great because I think the uh, strategic missile launcher is just a slightly bigger version of the strategic missile defence. Okay, and that's nearly done. I think the other one must have been finished. Yeah. Cool. Um, Let's stick a couple of uh, Sams here. Just to keep everything nicely ticking over. Let's do this side first. <gasps> yes, my Mavor, it lives. Oh, it doesn't build one after the other. Okay. Fine. Having two fat boys is better than having one fat boy. 
I will now build a couple of these guys for the impending. In fact, let's keep an eye on how that's doing. Let's get another spy plane ready. This will sort my mouse problem out, no problem. And also... Yeah, power shouldn't be an issue anymore now. I think the UEF sport um, armor command units so are the only ones that don't have rapid fabricator because they get the engineering drain. So I'm just going to do that. This one plane is ready. Try to path the most minimal route to their base so I can have a look. area here. How far I got with it. I got distracted. Build another one. I was trying to build something a bit more substantial that will probably last a bit longer. Yeah, let's build a heavy gunship. Everything appears to be going quite smoothly at the moment. My fat boys are en route. That's quite a nice large radius of my missiles actually. Speaking of which. Let's blow some stuff up. I don't know if I've got tactical missile defence scenes. Oh, not there, they don't. This guy, I'm gonna just get him patrolling the front line, just in case. So I told him to upgrade to the engineering drone. Ah, oh, okay. So that I've got something bigger that will last a bit longer.
thing about heavy air transports is that it, it's um, anti-air, which is very useful for me. Uh, artillery defense position, yes, What does that do? Literally no idea what this does. So we got a. That moment when you realise you have very crap anti air defence in your base. <laughs> Let's get Mavor out. Experimental rapid fire artillery. Damn handy. Oh, where did my transport go? The superiority fire squad. Oh, their base is being. Hmm. Okay. Well, I, I'm going to need another transport anyway because I need to. I need some support on my command units. Uh, why, why is he not up? I don't get why this. Why he's not uh, upgrading. Watching them this time to make sure you upgrade. There we go. Just weird that was. Apologies if you heard a sound just now, it's got a notification, I will deal with it at the end of this video. Okay, right. I yeah, I'm definitely gonna need an extra one. Let's go over there for now. Cool, my fabulous is doing really well. <laughs> Did, did I or did I not spot an anti Okay, well, I can always fire four and see what happens, can't I? We've all got at least one missile in them. Let's silence these guys. <laughs> Nothing more satisfying than a bunch of nukes going up. Build an Omni and a large shield generator. Oh, 
Oh, the nukes did hit. Nice. That should help alleviate a few things. There we go, Omni's gone up now so I can see what's going on around that base a, bit, a little bit more. Tempted. Just grab some mass while I'm here. If I can, I'd like to save my thing, but at the same time, I just want to do a hashtag drive by. No chance I'm going to survive all that I'm sort of saying. Uh, maybe. Nope. <laughs> nope. That's right, I'll build another one. Although, I was able to get. What is happening to their base though? My base is getting absolutely pummeled. I don't know what those those um that that is, but whatever they are, they are destroying the. It might be the cyberin brick or um, assault bots. They are relatively powerful. I find my uh, experimental guy over just to see. Oh, there you go. They've lost their ACU now. Not much of this base left over now. But they've got absolutely pummeled. I'm really interested to see what was pummeling their base. I just want to find out there's like various experimentals that the Cybern had before they got blown up. Um, yeah. I'm just going to blow up. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, mega ball. That would uh that that would that would that would do it. guys to the other other side. But yeah that's that's why they blew up. <laughs> Megabot. There we go. I've just nuked out a lot of their army there. Oh Mabel's online. He's gonna happily pummel anything in a large radius. Trying to build another one as well actually. Cares of why the hell not. Oh, he's on the move now. That's right, I'm killing him faster than he's killing me. So I like it. I just need one more Omni. Which I may put. I wonder. Rate of fire, heavy plasma factor, area of effect. Uh.
How are we doing on that side? Uh, it's almost gone. Tell you because there's so much stuff that's been blown up already. I'm very tempted just to. What happened to my heavy shield? Speed this one up, this one up, this one up. There's no point protecting myself from an experimental bomber that's not going to come due to the fact that uh, it's been blown sky high now. Mm, yeah, let's blow that up. Okay, we're just starting to get a little bit too resettled now, isn't it? Okay, so uh, Aeon are the first to bite the dust. Me and the Cybrans now. Yeah, this guy's got two on him. Let's uh, strategically blow up as much of this stuff as we possibly can. The annoying thing about the uh, victory condition of which I've enabled is that the fact that I have to destroy all mass extractors, engineers, and major buildings. That's why I've got nukes again in various places. I'm hoping to try and speed it up a little bit. I don't suppose I really did anything with these guys in the end, didn't feel I needed to. Mass is going pretty well already. Okay, then nothing to worry about, they're just assault bots. Armored assault bots, the brick. Out of a uh, Range. They really do look like bricks. There goes a couple more. They just look like bricks. 
Okay, so that's not something. What about let's see what that is there down here? Oh, I'm close to victory. Oh, I've got any missiles left at the moment. Uh, let's give him a mod fire on stuff I actually know to be either an engineer or. There we go. See the entire map now. I only took half a dozen on my sensor radars. Nice, right, so I want to just have a quick look and see if there's anything else I can. Oh, the second wave was done. Still, they still seem hell bent on taking out those bricks, despite the fact they don't really need to. Take out everything else. I'm happy if you can build a Mabel. But from the beginning of the map, as long as you've got um, a, a bottleneck to, s to stop landing it, something big did come this way, it looks like. It might well have been the experimental bomber. That that splash marking on the ground tells me that it probably was. Um, but not much happened to it in the end, which is good. But having uh, somewhere you can funnel your enemies and just stick in plenty of AA um, works really well because then you can concentrate on those areas. So we can build that wall. I think it's just those two buildings left. Unless, 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 unless that is an engineer. You should be more honest on that. I'm also going to send one of these guys around the other way, just in case the guy on the other side of the map is an engineer. I find that um, overpowering the enemy is a lot quicker process. And um, no, oh yeah, there was an engineer there. There we go. That's got him. Um, overpowering the enemy in the matches is, is quicker, I find, than the mop up operation you have afterwards. I mean, you can set your end game to just be commanders. Once the commanders blow up, they lose, which could be an interesting uh, way of doing it actually. But I just tend to do it this way because I like the mopping up process. Okay, there we are. That was uh, Ian's Cross. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.